I am Scott Shelley here in the Seymour Group floors in Chicago for Traders Exclusive. I haven't done it in a while here, so I'm back in the States for good, or at least for the time being. So let's hop in and see what we uh, can talk about today. And guess what? It's really a lot of whole, a lot, a lot of nothing, really. We've had a USDA report get canceled. We've got an equity market that's slightly easier off its lows, though, which is also good. Uh, but at the end of the day, you want to look across those contracts. Crude, probably the most interesting. It's off more than anything else and moving more than anything else as we speak. But generally speaking, across the board, things are kind of quiet. So where do we want to go to on this? Here's where I want to go to on this. We've still got China. That's the big elephant in the room. We've got the, uh, the, the, the government shutdown, which I don't think is really a big deal to the market at all. Something will get resolved there. Um, so the Federal Reserve, uh, we had some sp uh, speaking this week. Uh, Fed, uh, uh, Powell was speaking this week. All of those things have kind of given us a little bit of a more of a window. Um, we had a two-day meeting, turned into a three-day meeting with those Chinese talks. So uh, there's a little bit more of a... Um, say a positiveness that kind of is eking through the market here. So I think it's always good when I talk to you folks is really talk to you about what they've been asking me to talk about, right? I, I know everybody's long in the tooth about the trade the, the trade tiff with, with China, but it's really there. And until we kind of unlock ourselves from that issue, it's going to be kind of weighing on us. But there are some drip, drip, drip things of good news. And I think that's going to help this market kind of recover its feet that it lost end of November and all of December last year. So the tariffs always going to be hanging around heavy, but ultimately it's going to end sometime, right? It's not going to go on forever, just like the government shutdown. It'll end sometime. It's not going to go on forever. So we have to take a step back, relax, and make a game plan for when it does end, that binary event when we finally get some news and the markets react. So that's kind of been the biggest thing right now. Obviously, the Fed taking more of a wait and see or being data dependent or patient or we see what the markets are telling us. All of those things are very dovish and the markets like that as far as equities have gone this week, too. So the Fed kind of flipping a week ago after the jobs number, what Powell had to say was very, very um, uh, uh, it was a watershed moment where he kind of went uh, into that dovish camp. And then all this week, the things that we heard uh, from other <coughs> Fed governors. So they're dovish. At some point in time, the Chinese t uh, tariff tip's going to end, and so will the government standoff. So right now, take that 40,000-foot view and make a plan so when those things happen, you're ready. That's it for me. I'm Scott Shelley here on the CM Group floors in Chicago for Traders Exclusive. I will see you again next week.